So the GMC Sierra EV and basically all of the GM EVs run on Android Automotive Operating System, uh, which is basically Google's uh, operating system for vehicles. If you're familiar with the Android phones out there and tablets, basically the same thing, just for vehicles. And they keep the settings pretty locked down so that you don't accidentally end up bricking your vehicle, which it's one thing if you brick a tablet, it's another thing if you brick your car. So uh, they try to keep things locked down, including the developer settings, which in Android phones, you can enable developer settings and have access to some additional menus and settings and things you can adjust and some additional information. And for the Sierra EV, um, unfortunately, we don't have access to it. Or so I thought. The other day, I actually uh, was messing around with the infotainment system. I've tried multiple times to try and enable it in the Sierra EV and it was not working. But the other day, it did happen to randomly work. I was able to enable the developer settings uh, in my Sierra EV only under my wife's profile, which is interesting. My profile still had it blocked to where I couldn't enable it, but I was able to enable it under my wife's profile. So now I have full access to the Android Automotive Operating System developer settings. So in this video, I'm gonna go through those Sierra EV developer settings with you guys for all the nerds out there like me that like to see this stuff. So let's go. So going into the infotainment system settings, if you go to system about and then tap the build number a bunch of times, that's typically how you would enable developer settings if it is able to be enabled. And since I've already enabled it, I'll go ahead and just pull them up here for us to go through. And the first thing I notice is the system has 13 gigs of memory. That's pretty substantial for a vehicle infotainment system. So that's definitely good to see. One interesting thing, I was able to actually do this for the Hummer EV as well. I'll do a different video on that one. Uh, but the Hummer EV had much less. It only has six gigs of memory. So I know the Hummer EV's uh, infotainment system has caught some flack because it is uh, definitely slower. And that's a big reason why is it does run a lot less memory there. I'll go ahead and scroll down through everything here. Check in the screen refresh rate at 60 frames per second, so that's good. There's no data transfer enabled for USB connections. We have some Bluetooth information here. Now, one thing I will say, it is very important that you don't change any of the developer settings unless you know what you're doing. That's for your vehicle, your phone, tablet, anything. You don't wanna mess anything up. Here we have the typical animation scale settings. Sometimes people adjust these to make the screens feel more snappy. The minimum screen width is 1377. It's pretty high resolution. And nothing else really stands out for me here. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that I did get it enabled and show you the settings here since it is not supposed to be able to be enabled on Android automotive operating systems. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have any questions about the developer settings. Let me know if there's anything that you want me to dive into, um, into the settings to see if there's something that we might be able to adjust or, or change uh, for the infotainment system. I'm not going to try and mess around with too many things though, because like I said, I don't want to break my vehicle. <laughs> but uh, anyway, if you guys like this video, as always, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more videos. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.